yesterday's loss on the equity front wiping up the gains that we saw over the last two trading sessions and moves to the downside are still more severe than any move we see to the upside. So what sense are you making of current market activity? Well, thank you very much, Alicia. That's a very good recap of how the market has been performing, especially how we've seen it perform over the, most of this month. And just as you noted there, we've been seeing a slight correction in, in some way in terms of how the market is performing. And honestly, looking at how the trend is going, the last time we were within that trading range was last year, around this same time. And hopefully, as you said there, maybe as we are closing the first quarter, we should be expecting corporate actions to come in to be able to support the market. But I guess right now, the externalities of the market seems to be what is affecting our marketers at now, especially looking at the things that that uh, still are concerned, the forex market, the political environment and such. But hopefully, as the corporate actions for 2011 begin to come through, we are hoping the market is going to be supported. But as of now, we are in a bit of an uncharted territory, especially in terms of how the NSC20 is going. And hopefully, if institutional investors as well as foreign investors come in strongly, we might see a bit of a support. But uh, as of now, I guess the concern is what we are seeing in terms of uh, the macroeconomic environment. Well, uh, we've had, as I mentioned earlier, turnover and volumes having increased substantially yesterday as local institutional investors realign their portfolios ahead of quarter end reporting to what extent are you realigning and how are you positioning yourself in the market right now as of now, I guess it's more of taking advantage of where we are still seeing a lot of value. Most of the counters are still trading, trading with their trading statuses at a very positive uh, sentiment, especially in terms of the stocks which are straight, still trading come dividend, come bonus, and with such other factors. And also from the financial front, we are expecting quarter one results to be coming out any time now. So this is the time to start taking a position for the 2011 uh, forecast. But uh, as of now, the horizon has almost shifted because uh, the talk, especially about the political scenario, elections coming earlier next year is, is creating a bit of a concern in terms of the horizon and so right now we are working with the horizon of at least two to three years so that people can be able to be comfortable because the trend as you noted there has been south and the support level is not as strong let's get stock specific at this stage access kenya seeing no reprieve whatsoever continuing its sequence of 52 week lows do you see any investment merit in access kenya right now Access Kenya is a concern, definitely, just as you noted, uh, just as it was noted earlier, because of what is happening with the ICT platform. You are seeing the mobile telcos coming in very strongly in terms of uh, their their market penetration as well as their product offering, which seems to be pushing Access Kenya to uh, a corner. And also, as at now, I guess the management challenge for Access Kenya is to be able to come up with a new strategy, either merging acquisitions so that they can be able to still remain uh, competitive in the industry. While well, looking at their 2010 performance, it was uh, below far below par, and also. It seems investors were not at, as pleased and the share price has basically been going down, which is, I guess, another concern. It's a stock which people are speculating on because it's now the single digit region and if at all anything changes, it's bound to rebound. But uh, looking at it in terms of uh, what the information we are, we are receiving, it's still a concern, especially in terms of uh, how they are performing. Of course, we know what the primary pressure points are, their competition chief amongst them, but uh, it's not alone. Mumia's Sugar also hitting 52 week lows. We had the company report a 22% profit fall in the first half, but really, even with regards to Access Kenya, seems to be delayed reaction from the market in terms of the data that has come through on in terms of financial earnings reports. Yes, definitely. Looking at it in terms of the market, well, our Kenyan market, the sentiments have always been very optimistic. I guess that's one of the things that almost makes our market at some point overpriced. And looking at it in terms of uh, Access Kenya, Mumias, there has been a lot of uh, bullish sentiments about those stocks, especially looking at Access coming from a high of 33 to a low of 9, as where we are seeing now, is one of the stocks which many people have ho held on to, hoping that the stock will be able to perform. And the management, I guess, is uh, facing the challenge of being able to uh, meet that expectation from the shareholders. And looking at it, especially as you noted there, in terms of Mumias, Mumias has been one stock which most investors have been very keen on. The fundamental analysis of the stock is uh, very strong. And uh, and positive, only that uh, the environment it's operating in as well as their half-year results did not work in tandem in the expectations in the market. And because of that, it seems right now is where investors are beginning to be more keener in terms of where they are seeing value. Then we've got Kenya Airways also unable to probe higher off its 52-week low of 32 shillings 75. And this despite the fact that we've heard some encouraging news out of the company with regards to its growth potential moving forward, its expansion plans as well, where it's planning to raise about $250 million in uh, fresh capital to actually fund that expansion moving forward. 
Thank you very much. We're looking at Kenya Airways also. It's one stock which, uh, as you noted there, in terms of the trend, it's been going down from a high of almost 60, going all the way to it's, it remained at 35 for a time, and now it is uh, going lower. One of the concerns that is facing uh, Kenya Airways at now is things like fuel cost, which uh, has been a bit unpredictable as at now, especially because of what's happening in the Middle East. And also, hopefully, if at all they can be able to take advantage of tourism, that would help. But uh, for most investors who had put in money into the stock, they were hoping to still start getting returns. But now when the MD managing director starts talking about uh, injecting more capital mm. as well as restructuring the balance sheet, I guess that's making investors a bit fatigued in terms of how long they can wait before they start getting their returns. Okay. And I guess because of that... Uh -huh. Of course, Samuel, it's the clarity on that detail around funding as well that's triggered some concern because the company hasn't really laid out its plans in terms of how exactly it's going to be raising that capital, right? Yes, definitely.